2019 is just around the corner and while we are looking forward to a long hot summer, our pets may not be ready for the coming year. Veterinarian Dr Monique Woods is here today to chat to us about getting your pet ready for 2019 and some top tips for being the best pet parent that you can be over summer. Welcome Monique. Hi, thank Lo you. Lovely to have you here. Thanks. So we're mainly talking about cats and dogs today, aren't yes, we? Yes, cats and dogs, yeah. Okay, so to get your pet ready for 2019, what areas of healthcare should responsible pet parents be looking at? Yeah, so there's really a few key areas that people can focus on that will make a big difference to the health of their pet and ultimately um, their pet's lifespan. Um, so the first one would be health checks, so getting your pet into the vet um, at least once a year and for our um, senior pets, so pets over eight years of age, um, every six months and then we can detect um, any problems as early as possible. Um, the second one would be vaccinations, mm -hmm. so making sure their pet is up to date with all of their vaccines. Uh, particularly now we're coming into the uh, summer holiday season, so pets are um, um, interacting with other animals a lot more. Um, perhaps going into boarding catteries and kennels and the beach and that sort of thing. Um, the third one would be uh, parasite protection, uh, so making sure you're treating fleas and worms regularly throughout the year. Um, and in particular, if you do keep up with it throughout the year, you're less likely to have that awful flea explosion um, Oh, the summer. hot summer months, yeah. that is horrific. So there's quite a few things to think about there, so what's the best way to manage that? Um, so in January, if you book your pet in for a health check and consultation, we'll write you your own um, pet health care plan for 2019. Um, and then you'll know exactly what you need to do and when you need to do it to keep your pet healthy. Which is a really good thing because it can yeah. be difficult. Sometimes you can f forget to do the parasite thing. It exactly. can slip your mind Everyone's very easily. Busy. Yeah. So since we're coming into the hotter months, what are some of the kinds of things that we should be cautious with with our pets? Yeah, so the big thing in New Zealand is hot cars. Mm. Um, so in the New Zealand summer, we just cannot have pets um, in a car. Um, we know that um, a, a car, even parked in the shade, um, even with the windows down, within five minutes it'll be 40 degrees, um, and within 30 minutes it'll be 50 degrees. And dogs lose heat via panting, and if they're panting in that hot, that hot car, they just cannot keep their um, body temperature regulated. Right. They get into that danger zone really quickly mm. um, and also just thinking about hot pavements um, so you can touch the pavement with the back of your hand and check if it's too hot for your back of your hand it'll be too hot for your dog's feet mm. um, and yeah just watching out for uh, heat stroke um, dehydration those kind of things. Mm. How yeah. would you know if your dog did have dehydration or heat stroke? They normally look pretty unwell, so they're lethargic, they're um, off their food, um, laying about, they've got dry looking eyes, um, you can lift their lip and have a look at their gums, they normally look quite dry. Mm. Um, and you can do, you've probably seen vets do it before, where we um, do the skin elasticity test, we yeah. pull the skin up on the back of their um, shoulders there, it should just spring straight back down, and if it goes down slowly, they're dehydrated and they need okay. attention. And just quickly, what's a top tip from you to be looking after our pets and keeping them safe this summer? Um, the big one would just be making sure there's plenty of fresh water, shade, ventilated areas, keeping them out of hot cars and making sure that you're walking them um, out of that midday heat, mm. so early morning, late in the evening. And we can do things, um, fun things for dogs like um, having a doggy paddling pool, making frozen treats for them to play with, that sort of thing. There's a few yeah. things you can do. Yeah. Oh, that's excellent. And make sure they've got heaps of water because if you've got Absolutely. a cat and a dog together, they can go through it pretty quick. Absolutely. Hey, thank you for that. You're welcome. It's been enlightening. Thank you. Um, and why when you're making your New Year's resolutions, make a note to take your pet into your nearest pet doctor's clinic for a consultation and a free plan about the best way to get them ready for 2019. And if you do have any concerns about your pet this summer, call your local vet to chat to them. I think it'd be actually more than happy to help. And a reminder that our Pet Corner sponsor, Yukonuba, are giving away to our cafe viewers a $20 voucher off your next purchase of Yukonuba dry food. To download the voucher, you can go to yukonuba.co.nz forward slash the cafe.